Hey there. All right. So uh, I know I didn't really announce this live stream, and we're at a really weird angle. But uh, I thought I'd share uh, what I'm doing today, at least uh, this part of the day. Uh, I've got this armored case that my wife got me for our anniversary. It's the Apache 4000. It's very similar to the Pelican cases. And uh, I'm going to put all my camera gear in here, and it's going to be a better alternative, at least for most cases, uh, for traveling with my camera gear and keeping it safe and just being a little easier to carry. I mean, it is a big, like, hefty case, but uh, it'll be easier than, like, having a backpack and trying to get everything out of the pockets and everything. I just kind of open this up, take out what I need, and then I'm good to go. And you can see I already opened up the spot for uh, my camera because <laughs> I'm using it right now for the stream. I do have another camera. It's just it's not set up to work with uh, Elgato's uh, uh, stream stick for whatever reason. So it has no profile. So I was trying to get it to work. It wouldn't work. Uh, so that's it. So I just I already made the space for the camera. I know where that's going. Fits good. Uh, so we're going to go from there and try to fit everything else in. I'm using a different, see this, this is for old people who uh, have really bad backs. Uh, I'm one of those old people, so we'll go here. Okay, so next thing in that I really ne need to make room for is this tripod, which is gonna take up pretty much the entire width, but it's perfect because it still leaves some room for the foam on the side. Uh, so for these things, you gotta kind of plan where you're gonna lay everything out but at the same time there's only one way that this can go now for the tripod so I can start making the room for it so all the foam in the case is perforated so you just kind of dig in there with your finger and then pull it out and throw it to the side and you just keep doing that it's uh, not very complicated maybe this will be oddly satisfying for someone I don't know <laughs> all down oh no I didn't mean to take that much out actually my yeah no I do need to take that much out we good we good welcome to the stream concurrent viewers that are here I thank you oh and uh, you may have noticed even though there's a weird camera angle I got this merch got the planet merch now if you guys are interested in picking up a La Planet shirt or something like that, uh, I will be setting that up. I do have a, a store for La Planet on Redbubble, uh, but I, I want to integrate one uh, directly to my website so that you could just go to my website and order straight from there. It might be a better experience for everyone. What am I going to do with all this foam that I'm taking out? I should use it for something. I'm not sure what yet, but it'd be a shame to waste all of it because I'm digging out a lot of it here. Oh, and just so that you can see, there's also like two layers to this. There's a layer at the bottom that's just extra support cushion, support foam, but there is another layer in between depending on how deep the stuff is that you're putting in. Because uh, I do believe that this is originally intended I mean, it's used for pretty much anything you want to keep safe, but I think it's originally intended to be used as like a gun case. So I think if you had like mags or whatever you want to stick down, I, you know, some things are thicker, but I think we'll keep it like this for now. I might go a little deeper just for the tripod. We'll see if it, how it closes once I dig this all out. No, uh, I'm trying to do more live streams, as you might be able to tell. I'm going to try to do one a week. Um, I wanted to upload a video this week, just like a regular video. And I, I am planning and working on a build video, another one, another crazy one. Uh, I mentioned it a little bit in the last stream that I'm going to be making a phone. Uh, but... I do not have time this week. It's been a very crazy week. Hopefully soon I will have a more sane 
schedule. You know, not be constantly running the way I have been, and then I can start working more on this channel. Um, now that I know the proper direction to go through. All right, we're almost done here. Yeah, I definitely got to do something with this foam. It's so good. It smells weird though. I don't know how to describe the smell. Other than, I don't know. It's very familiar, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like a weird. It's like a mix of like a solvent and a paint. It's odd. Probably shouldn't be sniffing that so closely. Okay, so now we've got the length. I need to go a little wider. Let's try to take these out without making too much space on the side. I do want to leave some of that cushion there. But I do have a lot to put in this case. So I don't have any spare space really to deal with. I might make it, uh, depending on how, like if I want to lay it down this way, I might dig out a center section so that I can just lay it in here and then have it uh, something to kind of keep it firmly in place since it's kind of an odd shape, which I might do that. It would save me some space in the long run. I mean, I could do it like this, but then, I mean, it works, but I feel like I'm also kind of wasting some space. I don't know. I'll dig a, a little bit of a center section, I think, because we have that there for a reason. There we go. I think that'll be nice. I'm going at this probably a little too rough. I probably should, because I don't want to take out too many pieces, because you can't really put it back. If you guys, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about, like I was saying, opening up a merch store on my site. Uh, I mean, obviously I would do stuff with my logo. I do have a really cool uh, painted version of it that looks cool and I think it would look good on like a gray t-shirt especially. Uh, but I want to start doing other designs too, like referencing my work, especially with the pasta PC. Like, I've had so many awesome quotes and comments on that video that were hilarious. Like, people made some really good jokes on it. If you want to browse through the comment section there. But I would love to make, like, shirts and designs out of it because they're that good. And, I don't know, my, by uh, selling merch like that, I could generate a little more re revenue to make better stuff and better projects on this channel. So that's, that's kind of my ideas on that. Um, see what people think. All right, how does this fit now? Okay, pretty good. Actually, really good. Just tucks away perfectly in there, and it feels snug. Um, I need to make more room for the head there. There we go. Put it back up. There you go. So that should fit better now. Because I have the uh, the plate to hold the camera at the end. I need to have room for that. Actually, I probably should make even more space. Actually, that might, that might work. Does it smush it? Ooh, I don't want this like coming out either. Okay, so. We'll just make a tiny bit more room for it. And that should be good. Place it like so. Beautiful. Isn't it, isn't it pretty? Let's adjust this a little bit so you can see a little more. 
That might be good. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, let's leave it in there for now. The issue I'm having is when I take it out, it wants to like pull everything out with it. So I might, I'm thinking about gluing the sides, gl gluing the sides in. I don't know if that's a bad idea if I ever want to like replace the foam, but I probably won't. But I think that's, that's good the way it is. Okay, so that's that's staying in there. I'll, I'll keep it in there to hold the place. So we got the camera there. Uh, next, next up, we need room for the drone and the controller. Uh, ooh. So I'm probably gonna have to put like an accessory here because there's not enough room for the drone. So the drone actually, ah, no, it's still a little too long. Darn, okay. This is gonna be tricky fitting. <laughs> all my stuff in here let me space some things out here okay so uh, I won't be able to fit the slider in here that much is apparent unless I tucked it in at the bottom of this foam piece so I have my flash which I always have to have I might I might end up putting the slider at the bottom I don't know because I don't use the slider that much but I still need to have it with me uh, I'm not sure unless I just like keep it in my trunk or something. I don't know. But this definitely needs to fit in here, and there was no better way for me to put that in. I could have it more narrow, like this. That'll work. I could have it narrow, and then that'll fit pretty decently. And then this, no, that won't fit there. I mean, see the problem is when you have it perforated like this, you want to leave a little more than just one chunk in between, otherwise it'll just kind of wiggle free. Um, this might be my best option, honestly. I'll, I'll probably have to put like accessories like batteries or something in there, slots for that. This is probably my best bet is to have this one here. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what do you guys think of this whole new content idea where I'm just doing mundane chores and just filming myself doing them? I mean, this is all I have time for this week and I have to set this up, so... This is what you guys get this week. Gotta gotta feed the algorithm something, right? I'm just like looking in the preview window, like you're just getting like a view of my head this whole time. Wee! All right, let's take a look and see how it's actually doing. <laughs> New toy. Make sure the shirts can fit a fat panda. Ah. Do laundry by hand, <laughs> clean the bathroom next. <laughs> oh, Justin. Uh, yeah, uh, since you weren't here at the very beginning, I got this uh, case. My wife get, got me this case. It's an armored case. It's similar to the Pelican cases, but it's the uh, cheaper version. I, I feel like they're probably just as good, but it gives you a lot of perforated foam that you pull apart and uh, you can uh, fit stuff in and it fits snugly and it's safe and I believe it's sealed even from weather it's like mildly waterproof I wouldn't want to risk it too much but if you left this out in the rain your stuff would be more than safe and fine uh, so that's what I'm I'm putting this all together in here uh, for purposes because I don't have much time to do it much else this week uh, so I'm just doing that. If check out this pile of foam back here, that I'm gonna probably put somewhere. I don't know. Um, this definitely needs to get glued in place because that's just gonna keep falling out and being being annoying. And I'll, I'll never replace this. There's no need to replace this. And if I did, I could still get it out of there. It's just not something I could goof up. 
Justin says awesome sauce. Yeah, so I'm trying to fit everything in here. I'm not sure how much I can fit. I don't think I'll be able to fit the slider, but I might be able to fit the slider underneath all this since it's rarely used. So right now I'm just trying to get my drone and stuff fit in there. This is for my camera, uh, which I'm currently using to stream because the RX100 doesn't stream apparently with Elgato, which is a shame because that camera would have been incredible for streaming just because of how small it is and the quality of it's really good so I'm surprised there's no driver for that because that would have been pretty awesome actually I think I think there is for the newer ones I have the older one so yeah that's that's why I think this might be it actually no I need to go one more layer in there's also a considerable uh, delay on the video feed. I'm noticing like in the camera I can see myself doing stuff like 30 seconds ago so right now I'm still like I don't know what I'm talking about really there. Okay if I open up OBS I can see myself pretty well and it looks like the audio is somewhat decent this time. Last time when I streamed the audio was uh, I had like two on, so there was like a horrible echo. I had like two sources. So, trying to not do that again. So this should be deep enough at this point. I just need to make it wide enough. I need probably one more layer of this foam. But yeah, I'll be I'll be making I'll be making can merch Justin if you're still watching be making some more stuff soon I'm, I'm planning on integrating it into my website and having like a store where you can just buy things from there and it'll be an all automated process I'm looking into one of the services that they have so basically the store front and everything is on my website and then you click order basically whatever you want and then uh, it gets pinged to uh, basically a fulfillment center where they print it and ship it and handle all that stuff so I make the design it's similar to like how Redbubble works and all that just more of an extension uh, to my site it's it feels less like you're going to just a weird third-party site it, it doesn't work that way it just kind of like is a is a, it's a service <laughs> And I'll probably make some good designs. If you have suggestions uh, for some I like design ideas, like in reference to some of the videos, especially the pasta video or whatever, let me know because there was some awesome content, like awesome comments and just really funny stuff that people said about it that I think would be really cool to like actually do something with. All right, let's see if this closes with the drone case in it now. Uh, it doesn't want to close. It's a little too tight. I mean, it'll close. I just don't want to squish it so much. But it is closed. So that's something. Hey, Wayne RC, a.k.a. Aiden. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm putting together my Apache 4800 case. It's a rugged waterproof case uh, to hold my camera gear. And I had to put this together today because I'm doing some shoots tomorrow. Uh, for whoever watches this in the future or now, who doesn't know what I do to actually make money, I am a photographer, amongst other things. Web designer, photographer, social media, uh, uh, what's the word? Manager. That that kind of stuff. Uh, where? Are? I I don't know if the slider will fit. If I, I mean, I could just leave it like this. It's this should be okay. This should be fine. Let's just try to leave it as so. Let's try not to change so much. Come back to it later. Now for the controller. Erg. Um. 
Definitely got to do it with wise, like so. But then I won't have room for the flash. Unless I want to be janky and just leave the flash on top. I mean, I could. Man, it's getting tight. But, I mean, this may have to be the way to do it. I do want to protect the controller more than the flash because the sticks aren't detachable. Uh, so I kind of have to keep them safe. Okay, well, let's try to put this here. Could always slip some batteries in between it or something. So let's take these pieces out. Careful not to remove that layer. I have a feeling that <laughs> yeah, I'm a full-time pasta PC builder. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I definitely want to do more weird computer builds. I mean, I have so many ideas. Some of them are really crazy. But one idea that I really want to try is I want to take... Uh, I want to build a computer inside of a car, like the hub. I, I would replace, like, the... Um, like the sound system and everything with just a screen. I would, if I had to like cut a hole into it and everything, I would do that. But basically, I would have a, a full working computer in the dash of the car, and I would cool it by using the car's AC system. So, uh, the the only true limit is what the power output of a car is. I have to find out like what wattage it is, and I th I think for a lot of older cars, it might be like. 250 or so, so I might be limited to like a gaming laptop, which would still be fine because usually the limitations of gaming laptops have been the heat, like they, they tend to overheat. Um, so I would alleviate that problem with the car's AC. So I think it's a doable project that I really want to try at some point. But this all takes funds, so I need to sell t-shirts <laughs> and things like that. And actually get monetized. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I ha I'm well over the watch time. I'm like almost double the watch time now uh, for the, the requirements. Okay, I don't want that pushing there, so I need to make one more. One, one more deep. Yeah, I, just, I, I, the amount of subscribers I got from the pasta PC was really good, but uh, it kind of stopped very suddenly. Like once news stopped reporting about it, and then the inc increase of subscribers kind of stopped after that. Which is how it do, which is how it do. I'm not too shook up about it. I, I know what gets attention now, so I'll definitely do something like that again. Yeah, I can't fit this in here without digging just a little bit deeper, so I have, I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know if I'll get to put a slider in here. Yeah, thanks, Justin. I'll get there. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I know it uh, does well now. People like seeing me build things, and the the drone video I did actually did pretty good for the first day. I mean, in 48 hours, I got over a thousand views, which is pretty good for my regular stuff. Um, I just always look at it for improvement. I'm like, ah. Eh. I'll do better. I'll keep doing better. I'm not too worried about it. I've got really thick skin, which is what you need when you're doing YouTube. I think a lot of people don't realize that. There's there's so many people I've seen in like community forums for YouTube, um, like Facebook groups and all that stuff. Um, there's so many people that get really upset about YouTube and not growing as fast as they expected but I mean it's a business I don't know what people expect it's not like a job where you walk in and 
you get paychecks automatically for whatever you put in. It's a business. You really have to put effort into growing. All right, since that's deeper, I'm going to make the drone slot deeper as well. Because that's what we're up to now. Yeah, but like, people get so upset about like, oh, YouTube's unfair, like, uh, I put good stuff out there, but all they're doing, at least from what the people I've seen complain about, all they do is, like, half put in the effort, they do a video that pretty much everyone else has done, and a lot of them are gaming channels, and not that there's anything wrong with gaming channels, it's just, when you're in a competitive market, and all you do is sit there and play games, it's not going to be nearly as interesting. You have to do something that causes interest first. They focus on like the end game stuff. Like people like, uh, I don't know, like people who game like Ninja or whatever, they can sit there now and do whatever they want because they already have the viewers now, so it doesn't really even matter. So they could sit there and play games and people will watch them because they actually like them now but that's not how you get the subscribers to begin with because you have to build that reputation first you have to do interesting things and I mean one he's really good at whatever he does so that got him there but before that you have to you know stand out a little bit hey look at that it fits it's looking decent I am cramming at this point, though. Honestly, I'm really cramming some stuff. And I'm kind of worried about how this foam's going to hold up over time because it, the stuff does come out pretty easy. So I'm a little worried about that. But it's, it's snug in there. And it'll definitely keep my stuff safe. I'm just worried I'll have to replace the foam at some point. I might try gluing it down to the other stuff so it doesn't like wiggle around so much now the flash honestly I I'm just gonna have to stack it there because I mean this will still close but yeah I don't have a slot for it so it's gonna have to sit on there which is fine because once I open it up and whip it out then it'll be good so next I need to find room for uh, batteries and battery charger which is easy I've got plenty of room for that so here's a charger I will probably put that there this is the actually since I've got two I might keep one here and have one like a permanent travel case uh, what we got in here oh yeah I forgot drone battery here's some flash filters I just never use okay I gotta charge up this drone battery again but actually that what's the height on this I'd have to go double deep for this which is okay but I can put that there and then the travel charger thingy on the other side actually it faces this down so that it's protected so how's everyone's day going and talked a lot not about me but let's talk about you what what's up with you guys what's new what are you guys up to and trying to get done today are you also ripping out foam from boxes hey look at that beautiful I just need to go another layer in I'm watching your comments I'm already a half hour in. Uh, that's okay. That's the nature of these live streams. Uh, there's no real time limit on them. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Did I do it? I think I might need one more. Actually, let's just test it first. Woo, beautiful. Although I did put it in a skinny way. That might be better. Look at that. Drone battery right there. Okay, so next. Uh, got a charger in here somewhere. Ah, 
<laughs> oh, so this is a ND filter case for the drone, which I don't even have the ND filter in there, which is a bad plan. There it is. The funny fact about the, the Parrot's uh, ND filter, um, it is third party, so it wasn't like designed with it in mind. The case is really nice. I do like it. But the problem is, you do have to install it after turning the drone on, because once it does its calibration, it kind of freaks out if something's in its way. So, do your calibration and all that stuff. Carrie Talbot, going to do yard work. Oh, fun. I really need to do that. That's actually, like, part of the deal with my landlord, who's my cousin, so I get away with stuff. But part of my deal is that I have to do the yard work. And, uh... I just haven't gotten to it yet, and the grass is really long. Fortunately, it means a lot of wildflowers grew in, so those are pretty. But some parts of it are just a little a little too long, and I need to not do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got the battery here. I do have another battery. <gasps> I forgot! See, this is why I need to pay attention. I have lenses, and I forgot all about the lenses. And those need to fit in here too, which I'm sure they will. It's just now I'm actually starting to run out of space and getting a little nervous. So, I mean, okay, so prioritizing here. Ugh. Oh man, this is hard. I got too much stuff to carry with me. Let's see about. Okay, I can fit that there, but. Now I'm having trouble finding spot for my batteries. And I love this lens. This lens is really important. Unless I only carry one lens, at, two lenses at a time, because one would be on here, and then one... Ah! Picking between lenses is tricky. The Helios 44.3 is my favorite portrait lens by far, but it's more specific to that, so... <clears throat> Well, I mean, battery charger is a bit more important, so I do need to have room for that. So, this is a puzzle. And the pieces that I have left just don't seem to fit. Ah. Uh, Darn. <laughs> okay. Well, you gotta prioritize. Batteries, have to have them. Uh, I should have another one around here somewhere. Just where did I store it is the question. Uh, I might have one out there somewhere, but I have three in all. I mean, honestly, I could store it on the charger when I have it packed up. I don't know if that probably makes things a little better. Yeah, I'm definitely not fitting the slider in here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, this is a tricky little challenge. What would you guys do? Okay, well, when, when choosing a travel charger, this is the stock uh, Panasonic charger for my camera. And then this is the third party one. And there's uh, definitely a size difference. This one is skinnier though. It's just wider, which, I mean, if I fit it down, it actually might save me room because I have depth to work with. I just don't have much. Could I fit a lens? and the charger? Not really. Err. Okay, well, this spot looks perfect for the lens. Like, the lens fits perfectly in there, so I think that's uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is make room for my lens. And the variable lens is probably better because it has automatic settings, which are important for some shoots. Can't always be full manual. Sometimes you do need to have automatic. 
does that fit in? Kind of. I still need a little more room. Well, actually, it's not bad, but it's not great either. I might leave it like so. Actually, that works. That works. I'll leave it like that. A little extra cushion. Now for the charger. And do I want to have a permanent spot for my Helios? I kind of do. But the charger... Ugh. Man, this is tough. Because you want to have everything with you. I mean, with wise, you might be okay. Probably shouldn't stress out about this as much. Hmm. I mean, the thing, the fact of the matter is, the charger can kind of sit anywhere. Just, I don't want it to always be in the way. Actually, I found a solution. And I'm very proud of myself for doing that. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And I'm going to show you in a second what I'm going to do. I don't know why I didn't think of it till now. But sometimes the mind <laughs> doesn't work as well as it should. I'm actually happy about this. Okay, so that's my slot for the Helios. Perfect. Actually, it should be a little deeper. It's a longer lens. And in case I ever get a longer lens I want to swap in there, then I'll have the space. So that's what I'm going to do. Is this the most interesting live stream you've ever seen, or what? There we go. Okay, so that fits there. So what I'm going going to do here is I'm going to dig out another slot underneath and then keep the charger down there. For those purposes, it'll, it'll work. It'll work good. Okay, that, that'll be fine. Okay, so uh, where do I want to keep it then? So these are all double deep. That's not double deep, but I don't want much putting pressure against that. That's double deep. This is only a little double deep. <laughs> uh, I could put it underneath here, but the camera does need a little wiggle room to work with. Ugh. Okay, well, maybe if it was, oh, and yeah, I do want to have this one because this one has the ability to uh, use a car adapter, which can be very useful. Probably gonna have it right here. That's what I have to do, I think. Yeah, 
tuck it underneath. That actually works decently. And I think I should still be able to close the lid just fine. I'll have to test it once I'm off the air. But I think this will work. So I've got the space for the charger there. Uh, I'll probably dig out a spot for the car charger somewhere in here. Um, as far as like wires and stuff, I can easily tuck that in next to the controller, which I'll take this. This is the connection to the phone to the uh, controller for my drone. So that can easily, you know, just get tucked into the side here. Easy. Uh, I got my two lenses plus the one that stays on the camera at all times. And got the flash here. Uh, I'll probably, I do need to store double A's, which I could easily put like right in here. I could have like one chunk, like yeah, like right here. See, I could put a double A right there. And then maybe another one like right in here. There we go. So then I can have spare batteries for the flash. Which I really, it bothers me that this is just kind of floating on top of the tripod. But when the tripod comes out, the flash comes out as well. So I think we're good. I think I fit everything. I think I did it. Yeah, uh, I'll find a spot for this. <laughs> it can sit inside here. I hope. That fit. Sure, yeah, there it is. It's, it fits. It fits with the battery. That works. Cool. So let's uh, do a final close of the lid. Uh, make sure everything fits, and this will in fact close. There's like a little bit of resistance right when I close it at the end, but look at that. It closed. Now I have all my stuff in this really nice armored case. Uh, all the stuff minus the camera, which is on there. But other than that, it's it's all in here. And I mean, if I have to throw in a couple extra things to, you know, bring with me, like a microphone or whatever, I probably could just still just stuff it in here and it'll still be okay. But this will this will more than do for now. I got all the essentials in there. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching me in this process of figuring all this out. Uh, if you got suggestions on what to do with this phone, let me know. But other than that, I think we're going to end things here. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, shirts and stuff once I have those ready to roll out. Um, and uh, next week, hopefully I'll get back to some uh, regular videos and finally get the the phone built in case you didn't hear i'm going to be building a phone and it's going to be made out of ah you can wait and see you can wait and see stay tuned stay tuned all right guys we're going to end the stream take care